In this lecture, let's learn how we can make our Angular application to load lazily by doing some changes in our Angular application. Currently, our application is going to load eagerly and all the modules and its associated components, directives, etc. It will be loaded at once when the Angular application run. So here we are in our Angular application. Let me go ahead and let me restart this application. And here, let me go ahead and let me open developer console first. And in the developer tool, let's go to network tab. Okay, and let's clear everything here in the network tab. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to restart the application by reloading this page. So when I reload the page, you will see that some of the files have been downloaded. Okay, you can see that this polyfills.js, this vendor.js, main.js and style.js file, these are the four main files which contains our Angular application code. So all these files are downloaded. Now let's check the size of these files. So let me expand this size column here. And for that, what I will do is I will simply increase the width of this developer tool. All right, so you can see the size of runtime.js is 234 bytes. Polyfill.js is 235 bytes. Vendor.js is 236, main.js 235 and so on. Okay, so these are the five main files which we are interested in because these are the five main files which contains the code of our Angular application. So what I will do is I will take a screenshot of this and later we will compare this size of these files when we will load our application lazily. So I have taken the screenshot. Now I'm going to paste it somewhere. So here I have pasted it. So this size is when we are loading our application eagerly. Now let's go ahead and let's implement the lazy loading in our application. And after that, we will compare the size. So here I'm in VS code and let's start implementing lazy loading for our dashboard module. So let me close this auth module.ts file and I will open the dashboard module. So here we have our dashboard module.ts file. Let's open this one. Now what we want is initially when the page loads, let me close this developer console for now. So initially when the page loads, we only want to load the app module. And when the user clicks on the dashboard link, at that time only, we want to load the dashboard module. So for that, the first thing which we need to do is, we need to change the route for the dashboard link a little bit. So what we need to do is, we have our dashboard route module.ts here. So here you can see, when we type root url slash dashboard, we have some routes here. Okay, now remember that for implementing lazy loading, your feature module must have its own routes. So our dashboard module, which is the feature module, it has its own routes. And that route we are defining in this dashboard route module. So here, the first thing which we need to do is, we need to set this path as empty string, like this. Now you will understand why we are doing this. Let's save this file. In the next step, let's go to app module.ts. And for this app module.ts also, we have some routes. And those routes we are defining in this route module.ts. So currently here we have only one route. Now we are going to define a second route. And this route will load a module. In this case, it will load the dashboard module. So here we are going to specify the path as dashboard. So when this dashboard route is typed, when the URL is root URL slash dashboard, at that time, we want to load our dashboard module. Here, we don't want to load a component, right? We want to load a module. For that, we need to use another property here, which is load children. And to this property, we need to specify that we want to load the dashboard module when this route is typed in the address bar. And there are two ways to do that. The first way is you specify a string and you specify the path of the dashboard module. So the dashboard module is present in the dashboard folder. In the dashboard folder, we have dashboard module.ts file. Now here, we don't need to specify this .ts, only the name of the file should be enough. And from this dashboard module file, we want to load the dashboard module. Now, 
in this dashboard module file we can have multiple module classes okay so here currently we have only one module class but we can create multiple module classes inside this same file so here we need to explicitly specify which module class do we want to load currently we have only one but still we need to specify the name of that module class so for that we will use a pound sign after the file path and then we will specify the name of the module the name of the module class so i'll copy the name of the module class from here and i'll specify it here okay so this is how we do it in the older versions of angular currently you will notice that we have an error and if i hover over this error it says type string is not assignable to type load children callback okay so here it is expecting a callback function and not a string value but if you are working with older versions of angular there this is the approach we use in order to load a module all right so let's remove the string value from here and now let's see how we can specify a callback function for this load children for that what you do is you pass a callback function here basically you specify a function to this load children and there you call this import okay so you call this import function and in here you need to specify the path of the module which you want to load so the path of the module will be says dashboard slash dashboard dot module okay now this function here it is going to return us all the module classes which we have inside this file currently we have only one module file but if we would have multiple module classes in this file in that case it will return us all those module classes so basically this import statement it is going to return us a promise okay so since it is going to return us a promise once that promise is resolved let's use this then method and this then method we need to pass a callback function again and this callback function is going to receive an object let's call this object mod and this mod object will have all the module classes in this file as its property so what do we want to return from here we want to return mod dot and you can see it is showing us the module class which we have in that file currently we have only one module class so it is only showing one class name here but if we have multiple module classes in that file it will show all those classes so let's select it here okay so now whenever a user will type root url slash dashboard that means when the route will be dashboard at that time we are telling angular to load this dashboard module this dashboard module will not be loaded if we are in the root url only when we visit this root url slash dashboard at that time only the code related to this dashboard module will be downloaded and it will be loaded in the browser all right so this is the second step now one very important point to remember here is that you need to remove any import statement which you are adding related to dashboard module in your app module so in the app module you will notice that here we are adding an import statement for dashboard module now what it will do is when we run our angular application for the first time it downloads and bundles everything for which we have added import statement in the app module even if we are not using anything from that imported module since we have added an import statement it will be downloaded and bundled so here when we are importing this dashboard module here it will also bundle the code of this dashboard module but we don't want the code of dashboard module to be bundled when the angular application runs for the first time we only want this dashboard module to be bundled and downloaded when the user visits the dashboard link right so we will remove this import statement from here because unnecessarily this code of this dashboard module will be bundled with the code of app module we don't want that to happen if we don't do this it will not give us the advantage of lazy loading because the code is anyway going to be downloaded at initial run and now since we have removed the import of dashboard module we can also remove this import from here because we are going to load this dashboard module 
when the user will visit the dashboard link. So we don't need that dashboard module in the app module. With this, let's save the changes. Let's go to command prompt and there first let's kill this ng serve process by pressing control c okay let me also clear the console here now we are doing this because after we have added the lazy loading we need to start the ng serve process again to make sure that the lazy loading feature is in effect so again let's run this ng serve command it will again compile our angular application it will generate the bundles and it will also run this application in the development server all right let's go back to our application let me open developer console again let's go to network tab let's clear everything here and let me reload the page again and you will notice that the files are again downloaded let me take the screenshot again let's go to our presentation and you will see a slight difference between the file size of this main.js so initially it was 235 bytes when we were using eager loading and now it is 234 bytes now this difference is not significant because our application is very small we do not have many files we have only few components which we have moved from app module to dashboard module so that's why you won't see much difference in the size of main.js but still you can see that the size has decreased a little bit now let's go back to our application let me clear everything here and now we are going to log into our application and once the login is successful the dashboard module will be loaded because once the login is successful the user will be redirected to root url slash dashboard and at that time the dashboard module will be loaded let's see that here i'll log in using john smith account let's give the password let's log in and you see that now some more files has been generated and these files contains the code of dashboard module okay so you can see the file name as src underscore app underscore dashboard underscore dashboard and it is a script file basically it is a javascript file okay and its size is 90.3 kb so now the dashboard module is being loaded only when the user goes to root url slash dashboard link okay initially when the page loads and when the user is in the root url at that time only the app module will be loaded and also the auth module will be loaded because currently we are not loading the auth module lazily currently we are only loading dashboard module lazily so when the user is in root url at that time the app module and the auth module will be loaded but the dashboard module will be loaded only when the user visits root url slash dashboard all right and our application should still be working so let me go ahead and let me click on this fetch task button so it is successfully fetching the task we can also delete task create a new task and all those things okay now let's go back and let's also add lazy loading for auth module so let me close this dashboard module.ts let's also close this dashboard route module.ts and now i'm going to open this auth module and here also we will set the path as empty string okay this is the first step let's save this let's go to app module actually we need to go to the route module.ts which contains the routes for this app module and there we are going to add one more route let's specify the path has login and when the user types this path in the address bar at that time we want to load the auth module so again here we are going to pass a callback function we are going to call the import function here there we need to specify the path of the login module so from the current directory we will go to login folder in the login folder we have auth module okay now this is going to return us a promise on that promise we are going to call this 10 method and to this then method also we need to pass a callback function and this callback function it is going to receive an object let's call it as mod you can name it anything and this object will contain all the module classes which is present inside this auth module file 
so here we can say mod dot and currently we have only one module class this auth module so we will select that and now whenever the user visits root url slash login at that time only this auth module will be loaded initially when the angular application runs for the first time only the app module will be loaded when the user goes to root url slash login path at that time the auth module will be loaded and when the user goes to root url slash dashboard at that time the dashboard module will be loaded again from the app module we need to remove any import which we have for auth module so from here we will remove this one and from the import array also we will remove it let's save the changes let's go back to our application let me log out from here okay let's clear everything and let's run our application okay so we are in the home page and currently the size of this main.js is 234 bytes so again the size is not changing because our application is very small so the change in size is not that significant but now if i click on this login link let me clear everything here if i click on this login link you will see that login component related code is bundled in this file and it has been downloaded here so in this file the auth module related code is bundled you can see its size is 234 bytes and from here if i log in before that let me clear this tab and let's log in here now when i click on this login button we will be redirected to dashboard page and at that time the dashboard module will be loaded so if i click on this login button you see the code of the dashboard module is bundled in this file and it has been downloaded and it has been loaded in the browser so now all the modules of our application the app module the dashboard module and the auth module they are getting lazily loaded all these modules are not getting loaded at once only when we visit a certain route at that time only the related module is getting loaded and this is what lazy loading is this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day